Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video, I have created this look here using the top selling makeup items from Priceline. So I have gone onto the Priceline website, categorized everything into best sellers and I've got it all in front of me. So if you're excited to see what the winners are, then just keep on watching. Okay, so starting out with primers, one of the best selling at Priceline is the NYX Angel Veil and this has been a top seller for years. When I first got into the YouTube world, everyone raved about this primer. So this is what the consistency looks like. It's quite thick. Now this isn't one of my favorite primers. I feel like it kind of leaves a bit of a layer on the skin and sometimes it can cause the makeup on top to kind of slip around. A lot of people say this is a dupe for the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, I'm pretty sure it's called, you know, that really expensive one. And even though it is so expensive, I just think it does a better job or it works better for my skin because it is more thin. So I feel as though it blends into the skin more rather than sitting on top. For foundation, one of the best sellers was no surprise to me. It is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I feel like this foundation has been a well-loved product for many years now. And when they expanded their shade range, it just gave so many more people the opportunity to try this foundation. And that is why I think it's one of the best sellers because it has such a great shade range. So I use the shade 110 Porcelain, which has a neutral undertone. This is such a great shade match for me. If you're fairer than me, they also have 102 Fair Porcelain. So such great options for the really fair people. Even though it's described to be a matte formula, I don't find it's overly matte. It definitely doesn't look drying on my skin. It has quite a medium but buildable coverage, so really good for every day. And it also feels quite lightweight on the skin. So this is definitely one of those foundations that I love and I would always keep in my collection. The top selling concealer is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This has been a top seller for years as well. It actually took me quite a long time to get into this concealer because they never had a shade fair enough. But now I have two shades, fair and ivory. I can't really remember, so I'm just going to swatch them. Okay, so this is the shade fair and this is the shade ivory. I'm definitely going to go in with ivory. <laughs> I'm just going to start off with a little bit because I can't really remember what the formula is like. Okay, that's actually quite nice. The shade is a really nice match and it's got pretty decent coverage. For powder, this is a, another product that has been dominating the Australian drugstore scene anyway. And it is the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder and I have the shade 001 Transparent. So I'm just going to get my sponge and blend out any settling into my lines from that concealer. This powder has been an absolute staple in my collection for years because it really was one of the only fair powders available at Priceline. Now, I do prefer it on my face rather than under my eyes. I feel like it's a little bit too matte and drying for under the eyes, but it sets the face really nicely and it keeps your makeup in place for a really long time. For bronzer, I have the Maybelline City Bronzer, and this is in the shade Light Cool 100. Now, I can see why this is a top-selling bronzer. It actually comes in six different shades, all with varying undertones. I'm just taking my Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush, and I'm going to lightly dust this into the hollows of my cheeks here and then blend it all over. So as I said, there are a few shades with varying undertones and it's really not often you get options like that available from drugstore bronzers. So this is what the bronzer looks like applied. It does have a matte finish and it's really easy to work with. It blends out beautifully. My cheeks do look really nice and smooth. 
The only thing, I think I might need to try the next color up. So it's still a light shade with a cool undertone, but it does look a little bit darker in the pan. Sometimes I feel as though this shade pulls a little bit orange on me. I don't know if it's because of my hair, but I just think the color is a little bit off, but the formula is really great and I would recommend it if you can find a shade that's going to work for you. For blush, I actually have two here and they're both by Maybelline. Maybelline is kind of dominating the best sellers at Priceline. And I do know that some of you aren't a fan of Maybelline because they aren't a cruelty-free brand. If you do want to see a video using cruelty-free affordable makeup, I do have a tutorial, so I will link it down below. But the two blushes I have here are the Cheek Heat Cream Blush and the Fit Me Blush. The Cheek Heat Blush is quite new to my collection. I've only played with it a few times. But as you can see, the Fit Me blush is quite a favorite of mine. I have the shade Coral in this, and I love the formula because it leaves quite a beautiful sheen to the skin, but it's not glittery. It's just that perfect sheen and glow. I freaking love it. I'm going to go into the cream blush today. So I've just got a mixing palette here. I've put some on and spread it out. I'm going to take the 005 Buffing Brush from Kmart. I believe that this is in the best sellers at the moment because it's a cream blush available at the drugstore. That's not something we get very often. So I think people are really excited to try out this product. Now for highlighters, it says that the top selling palette is the Beam Beauty Highlighting Palette by Models Prefer. That is not something I would ever purchase. The next top selling highlighter is the I Heart Revolution Rose Gold Glow Mini Chocolate Palette. That seems a bit more realistic to me. Revolution actually takes the cake for a lot of the top selling highlighters at Priceline. I don't actually own any of them and to be honest, I'm very picky with drugstore highlighters. I just think high end highlighters do a much better job. So as I scroll down, I have come across one that I actually own and it is the Essence the highlighter. So I have the shade 20 Hypnotic and as you can see it's kind of like a pale gold. It does look really beautiful on the skin and it leaves a nice glowy sheen. It's not anything too overpowering or glittery but I just find it doesn't last very long on the skin. Like look at that. It is beautiful but at the end of an eight hour day it's just not there anymore. For brows, the top selling pencil is the NYX Micro Brow. I don't have this on me anymore, but I have tried it in the past. Another one of their top selling pencils is the new Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. And if I did have to pick between the two, I would go for the Maybelline option anyway. I find that it's just a little bit more creamy than the NYX, so it's a bit easier to work with. So one side of the pencil, you've got your fine micro tip. And on the other side, you have a spoolie. So I'm using the shade Blonde. I like to brush my brows up with the spoolie. And then go in with the pencil side. I like to underline the brows first. Go in and fill in the front. And then finish up the tail. Once I've done that, I flip back to the spoolie and just blend the shade in and make sure there's no harsh lines. And then I go back in and fill in any gaps. So up here in the arch, I have like no hairs. So I like to fill that in and then just suss out the shape, make sure it's what I'm liking. For brow gel, this was no surprise to me. It is the Essence Make Me Brow, and I have the shade Blondie Brows. Again, I've loved this product for years. So it has the tiniest little wand on it, which makes it so perfect 
for getting into your brows and you're not gonna make a mess because you're getting the product exactly where you want it. So this brow gel has fibers in it that latch onto your brow hairs, making them look so much more full. It's just such a great product for such a good price and definitely comparable to the Benefit little brow gel that is ever so popular. For eyeshadow, Revolution literally takes the cake in the top sellers category. I do have two of the Reloaded palettes here. These come in quite a variety of color stories, so plenty to choose from, and I'm pretty sure they're only around $10. Drugstore eyeshadows are quite a hit and miss category. I've tried a few Maybelline eyeshadows and Mm, not that nice. Whereas the Astralis eyeshadow palettes are freaking amazing. So anyway, today I am going to dip into the Reloaded Iconic Fever palette. So I'm going to dip into a mixture of these browns here and then I think I might put this shimmer on the lid. I do really like these shadows. I find that they are nicely pigmented and they're not too powdery or dry which is the problem I have with a lot of drugstore eyeshadows. They can just be so chalky and they do not blend nicely. Okay, so I'm done with the eyeshadow. I definitely think the mattes in this palette are a lot better than the shimmers. When you first apply the shimmer, it looks really beautiful, but once you kind of build it up and blend it out, it's pretty much gone. So, for mascara, Essence is number one, but I have never tried an Essence mascara. I feel like they are so raved about, but there are quite a few different ones and I just don't know which one to pick and I don't want to get the wrong one because so many people rave about them. So if you have tried and love the Essence Mascaras, let me know in the comments which one is the best and I will go try it. But the next top selling mascara is another one by Maybelline. This is the new Falsies Lash Lift Mascara and I am oh, obsessed with this. Maybelline has always been a favorite of mine when it comes to mascaras, but there's just something about this one. First of all, the wand. I love the shape. It's nice and big, nice and fluffy, kind of has that hourglass shape, but the formula is just perfect. It's not too wet and it's not too dry. It is literally that perfect in between. Sometimes with mascaras, I find that they're too wet and so they're difficult to work with. They clump my lashes together and it's just not a good time. So I usually then wait for them to dry out a bit, but this is like, it's just perfect, seriously. And it makes my lashes look so damn long. Like, look at that. <sighs> and lastly, we have lip products. Revolution is at the top for this category yet again. They have so many different lip options and because it is quite an affordable and new brand to Priceline, I can see why it's a top seller because a lot of people would be interested in this. So I have two different products here. The number one top seller is actually the lip topper. So this is just like a really shimmery lip gloss. And then close behind the lip toppers are the matte lipsticks from the Nude Collection and I have the shade Buff. Now, I can't quite remember what I thought of this liquid lipstick. I kept it, so hopefully it's not too bad. It's a nice shade. It actually feels quite creamy, but We'll see how it dries down. It's not as opaque as I would like. I feel like I've had to put a bit of extra product on to try and get the color looking nice and even. I'm going to go over the top of it with a lip topper. This is the shade Exquisite and it does look exquisite if I say so myself. And then the other shade I have here is called Luxurious, which has a bit more of a gold tint to it. I'm just going to tap my finger into what I've put on my hand and tap it on top because I don't want to go too overboard. 
All right, guys, well, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more Australian drugstore-related videos, then I do have a few tutorials that I will link down in the description box. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. And if you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram. I will have my name on the screen for you now. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.